Now, Mona, we obviously heard much after the um, after what happened about s- making salatul ghaib. Please explain the conditions um, when making salat in absentia. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim So, uh, it was given a or in the world people made salatul alal ghaib on a on somebody in absentia. Mm. So that some of the ulama say you must be so they must they need to be buried. Some say must they need to be washed. Okay. And then you can make salatu, salatu ala ghaib. But as long as a person has passed on, you can make salat ala ghaib, whether some ulama says uh, after he was ghusl or after he was buried. Or like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made salat on the cover of the lady that used to clean the masjid of Nabawi. And Rasulullah found out the next day that she passed away and he made salat on her. Grave. There's no way maybe it's allowed a person is still, mm. al- al- still lying, right? Or still on the earth. Yeah. Now it's, it's beneath the beneath. So the it earth. can happen the next day. It can happen the next day also. It don't have to happen the same day. It can happen the next day. Rasulullah Sallam made salat to Janaza and that lady on her grave, which was already buried. Mm. <clears throat> and she was a person that used to clean the Majid and Nabawi in the time of Nabiya Karim, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam.